Well, this evening we continue our coverage around short term rentals and the possible next steps Kansas City can take. It all comes as the market swells too. listings grew about 20% in just one year. Neighborhood and city leaders all agree on the urgency for change. We need to we need to move quickly because the industry is continuing to grow in all cities. So the next step will be making processes that make it easier to identify these houses and to get more uh, more stringent rules uh, ex uh, enforced on them. You know, this is a story we followed for months. The city council pushes to have policies in place by April. A KSHB 41 News reporter Abby Dodd shares what could be on the docket next by turning to other cities changing their policies. Neighbors say this new form of business moving in next door needs a few more rules. Now, you know, it's a stranger every other weekend. It's a tiny hotel district. Without the tax benefits of a high rise hotel, that's one reason the city council moved quickly to put these two questions up to a citywide vote in April, essentially taxing and adding fees like what hotels pay. With the NFL draft looming, the ordinances are opening up an opportunity to capture a considerable amount of cash from out of town visitors. But there's a catch. A recent city audit says only 7% of short term rentals are licensed. How do you plan to tax rentals that aren't licensed with the city? That's a, that's a good question. Um, well, first of all, we have a further step to make sure that anything who is anyone who is unlicensed cannot be advertising on the various platforms. Bunches reference a tactic cities like Chicago have adopted. This is a listing for an apartment in the loop. There's one small line at the end of the listing description he thinks might work for us here in Kansas City. You have to put your license number right there at the bottom. It's required by the city. If you don't have it, you can be fined or removed from the site. Under our current uh, code of ordinances, it is not a violation necessarily simply to advertise your short term rental without a license. Um, we have to change that. Uh, and in cases where other cities have done that, they've had a much better relationship with the, with the, with the third parties, the intermediaries like uh, Airbnb and Verbo, to delist those folks. That's the goal there. Bunch says the city's legal team is still reviewing this option. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News. And then vote for the ordinance takes place April 4th, just weeks ahead of the NFL draft that takes place at the end of the same month.